Okay, so we're on our way to Hull now, on the A1 heading north, as the Romans did many centuries ago. I've been invited up by some old friends, Dave and Denise. Dave's a fireman, Denise works for the council, and they've supplied us with two tickets to Catfish and the Bottlemen tonight. So, while we're in Hull, we are going to learn a few things about why it has become the UK city of culture. Now, it's a very old, old city. It was built up around the industry of boats, and that started with fishing and whaling. So, we're going to visit the Maritime Museum, then we're going to see a woolly mammoth, which is for me the highlight. There is going to be some street entertainment going on, and Denise's father was actually a fisherman back in the day so she was a child of a fisherman so he'd go away for two weeks at a time they'd never know if he was coming back and when they did it was all it was all nice but the fishing industry it, it's almost comparable with slavery because the way they did it was really harsh but the people in Hull didn't have much choice the fishing boats were owned by the fishing companies you know if they didn't make her uh, if they didn't catch anything no one got paid before they got, before they left port, they'd have to hire their own equipment off the fishing companies. It's a really brutal and fairly unfair way of making a living. Right, lactose intolerant tea or coffee. So you're going to be able to show us all a really good time in Hull, aren't you? Good, brilliant time in Hull. Uh, What's your contribution to Hull? Contribution, I've kept the city safe from burning for the last 30 years. It's about time now to hang up my fireboats and grasp the plumbing mantle by its horns. Oh yeah, you'll be there. Is it named after Williams? Williams. <laughs> oh, a white telephone box. Oh yes, apparently that's one of the things to look out for in Hull. Why are the telephone boxes white? They run out of red paint. No, because in communications, is it, uh, it's different to BT. All city council had its own telephone network. You know, there you go. Sure, mate. What's All the right, damage? Have a good day. So they're going to the city of Primark? Yeah. Right. Going to the Where are we going? To the Whale Museum. <laughs> I'd like to say I've not seen better fishermen, but it wouldn't be true. It's quite um, stifling with death, isn't it? That's the smallest window in the world. That's just shoddy workmanship. Are we not peaking a bit early for booze? It's only half twelve. It's weird, isn't it, that an English Civil War would start in a pub? Go to the plotting room where it started. And why, why did it start in a pub? That's where this the plotted the start of the war. Up. And all the musical instruments are modern copies of things that were popular in this country at that time. And when the ships come into dock, they come along kind of the quayside and bump all the way around, but there's blokes with children chucking them. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody fell between them, they'd be killed, but nobody. And, and these are all, you troll along the bottom of the sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what happens is when, they, when they're on deck, they go to the washers and that come up the washer on into that land in there, that land will go down, pass it to that land. How big are you? How t how? Six two. Look how big. Look how big he is. Is that Iron Age porn? You've got to open your mouth. That's a book. 
It's a tree. It's a boat. It's just a tree that's fallen down. <laughs> Hull is awesome, and if you don't agree with the Romans, you've got to agree with the Vikings. The history is as rich as any city in Great Britain. This historic city is now a modern city. And finally, before we go and see Catfish and the Bottleman, Dave will reveal Hull's most secret attraction. Right, so we've seen the smallest window in Hull down George Street at the George pub. We've now got the smallest rail track down uh, Capitan's Walk. Colorina, we are Catfish and the Bottom Man. Thank you very much for